my fellow panelists, uh, Professor Tomaji, Swamini Paramanandaji, and Professor Mishriji, and of course, uh, Sri Nachiket Tiwariji. Hindu bhaiyo abhano. It gives me great pleasure to stand in front of you today and to have this opportunity to be on such an August panel of invincible Hindus, intellectually capable Hindus, uh, of which I would like to consider myself one of them. No <laughs> okay, good. Because I've learned in my 20 years that I've been living in India that uh, I, I understand implicitly, I hear a lot of apologies for use of this word Hindu, but I've understood implicitly what it actually means. Uh, and I found no trouble in associating myself as a Hindu. In fact, when I came to India, my parents were very worried that, have you converted? Have you changed your religion? I said, no, I've just accepted Hindu dharam. I've just added it to myself, my, uh, to who I am. And it made sense to me, all the tenets and the, the values that I hold dear of being compassionate, of being uh, upstanding, of being someone who's a, a member of a world and global community. The concept of Vasudeva Kutumbakam made imminent sense to me. I have been working with the Jiva Institute. I'm a co-founder where we are working with education. We are working with Ayurveda. You must have heard of Jiva Ayurveda and Dr. Pratap Chauhan, who's a colleague of mine. Dr. Satyanarayan Das, who is in Vrindavan, one of the leading scholars in um, Indian philosophy. Uh, Rishipal Chauhanji, who's right here, you can just raise his hand, who's the leader of Jiva Institute. Trying to revive traditional Indian culture and sciences in a modern context. I grew up in America, which is what I was told was the greatest country in the world, and in many ways is. I also learned about the Purusharth, Dharm, Art, Kam, Moksha, and found out in time that we're really good in two things, Art and Kam. We know how to make money, and we know how to enjoy it. But I also found out that these Purusharth, all four of them are like tires on, they're like char paya hai gaadi mein. Or kebal do hai, the car is going to fall over to the side, which is what's happened to our country after some time. We've gone up, we've gone up, we've traveled for some time, but our gaadi now, wo karab ho gaya hai. So we've got a, we have a problem we have to deal with. What do we need in America? What do we need in the West? I was just in France. It's the same thing. We don't need more information or knowledge about uh, art and about calm. We need the information about dharam and about moksha. These are the things that are missing. And it so happens, India's great fortune, luck, or whatever you want to call it, is that that information is here. There is no other country in the world that has such incredible depth of knowledge in these two areas, and I've been swimming in this ocean for 20 years. And I, like you, Swamini, I share that passion. I feel it. I want to bring this, I want to, bring this to everyone. I also want to bring it to Indians, because I find out that most Indians are in that side, in the west. They are in the west. They are in the front. They are in the front. They are in the but what I don't want to happen, and I see this happening, even foreigners are coming here, they're taking it more seriously and more intensely than Indians are. Even Ayurvedic doctors, they're coming from the West and they're seeing this, some Ayurvedic doctors drinking chai. And they're seeing it, Aap Ayurvedic doctor hai, Aap chai pi rahe ho. And these Ayurvedic doctors get very uncomfortable, they think, oh, main chai pi rahe kya, kya baat hai? It's with this intensity that the West is dying, starving for this. So Hindu or Hindustan is a place. It's a place. It's a place wherever these values exist. And we must make this international. And yes, in our school that we have, Jiva Public School, we were the first school in India to have an internet connection. And I was going fast in that way to try to bring technology to our school. But I decided that that's not what we need. What we need is as Swamini rightly calls, 
the paravidya, the self-knowledge. Years ago, the way knowledge used to exist, the way education existed was through guru and gurukul, where there was somebody looking after the internal needs of every single child. Looking after the needs of every child, their spiritual needs as well. This is missing since the British education system came here and became a factory-based system of education. It used to be just five or ten children with that guru who found out what, what kind of nature this child has. Kis ki bhav hai? What is that nature that every child has? That when Professor Tomarji speaks of career-centric or career-based education, this comes back to a simple principle from Gita where even Arjun is there standing on the battle of Kurukshetra and says that I can't fight against my guru. I can't fight against Dronacharya. I can't fight against Dada Bhishma. I'll become sadhu and go in the jungle. It's better. I want job change. <laughs> and, and Krishna laughs at him, right? He says that you can't. He says, You're a warrior. It's your nature. You have to fight according to your nature. So even when we talk about skills-based education or technology, this is all one side. We have to come to the basic principles of what is the nature of every child. And we've done that research. We've looked in Gita. We've looked in Manu Smriti. All of the Vedas, we've come up with methodologies to help our children know who they are, what they are, and then how they'll get all those other things will come automatically. They don't need to teach you. They have Facebook. They have Google. They already know technology and those kind of things. They don't need it in the curriculum. But this is what we need. You can go to the next slide. So in our school, yes, uh, back. Uh, I'll manage it, I think, from here. Multiple Natures is our first program we, we run with our children where every child understands what kind of qualities he has. Protective nature, an educative nature, an administrative nature, creative healing kind of nature, an entertaining nature, and so on. We look at nine types of natures of each child and eight different types of intelligencies. And based on this matrix, we figure out what their qualities are and which type of career they should go into. It is the first school in the world that is doing this. And there are hundreds of other schools throughout the country that are also using this and also throughout the world. We are spreading it through our website, multiplenatures.com. Please do check it out. There's a beautiful test there that anybody can take, professionals as well, and find out what their natures are and what their careers are, where they should go. Our second amazing program we have is called Din Charya Kaniyam. This is like Aam Ki Baat. Every person in India knows that you must follow Din Charya if you want to be healthy. And all of our children make their Din Charya. They make their schedules, their timetables, even on weekends, even on holidays. They know they have to get up. They know that they have to touch the... Um, uh, uh, touch the ground, touch feet of their parents, they have to go through their morning routine, go to the bathroom, drink a glass of water, etc., and go through their entire routine. And it is this dincharya that keeps our children disciplined. There is dharam. Of the dharam arkamoksha, it starts with dincharya. Very simple, no technology required, no money required. It's just a simple dincharya that all the children follow. And our children's behavior is extremely good compa comparatively. I visited more than 500 schools in this country. And I can see the quality of our children as a result of this program. The second program we have, the third program we have is called Svadhyay. Twice a day in school, our children, once in the morning and once in the evening, take a few minutes just to center themselves, get their center cool, as was being discussed again and again. We have to have a, just like the eye of a hurricane, greatest power uh, on earth is cool at the center. I see, I'm seeing this Nataraj also dancing. Everything going on, cool at the center. Swadhyaya helps our children to be centered. No technology required, no internet connection. They simply have to center, focus, reflect, and it's enough to clear out the gandaki from whatever is building up in their mind. <coughs> Another program we have is called SOE, Self Others Environment. So our children keep a separate copy, and they write down in their copy their experiences apart from school, things that they've learned about themselves, about their friends, their families, or about their environment, different activities. And every morning in their zero period, for 15 minutes, they discuss their realizations and they talk about it. Again, doesn't cost anything, takes just 15 minutes per day, and all the children are thinking and they're reflecting and building on apart from the curricular knowledge that's there. The last program we have is a program which is called Iyer School. And it is the first of its kind in the world. 
As you might know about Jiva, um, our Ayurveda program, we, we are spreading Ayurveda through television shows, uh, through clinics, through various programs, through telemedicine. We have the world's largest telemedicine, uh, telemedicine uh, service that's going. But through the Ayur school program, it's an amazing thing. Every child finds out what's their body type? What's the right food that they should eat? That if I'm kaf, and my body is torasa kaf, I gain weight easily, I should be careful of eating too much sweet things, too much milk, uh, too many kinds of uh, heavy products, and I should eat more uh, katta kind of things or mirchi kind of things, because for my body, it's a better thing. But for someone who's pitta, he needs to cut down on those type of things and eat foods that will balance him. This keeps our children healthier. It keeps their immune systems higher. It enables them to concentrate more and have greater memories. And what could be better than that? This is the traditional concept of India. This is what can keep people healthy. And the world is begging for this in the US, in France, in all of Europe, other places. They're getting amazed by they never heard about Ayurveda before. They want it for their children. And this is how any school would be able to implement a program like this. Very simple, very easy. So the programs we have, Multiple Natures, Dincharya Kaniyam, Swadhyay, SOE, and Ayur School are the programs that we're using to create that thing that is necessary to balance dharm, art, kam, moksh in our schools. We also have a program. We're building a, a, a jiva center. It will be a wellness center leaning toward a university in time. We want to bring this knowledge as um, we were hearing from Dalai Lama was saying how necessary it is to bring this information throughout the world. We hope that the center we're building will achieve that. And uh, I'll say thank you. And if I could just sing two lines, if I may. Hindu Sita Hamara Hum bulbule he iske Yehi gul sita Hamara Hamara Sare jahan se acha Sare jahan se acha Sare jahan se acha Thank you very much.